got a 2018 Tacoma here. We're going to be installing the three and a half inch Rough Country Vertex Lift Kit. We got the struts with external reservoirs. We got actual lift control arms. New leafs instead of blocks. We're going to be dropping the carrier bearing down and we're going to be adjusting the steering rack as well. When I'm working on a project like this, I always like to start in the front of the vehicle. The front suspension is always going to be harder than the rear. So knock out all the hard stuff and just work your way all the way to the back. I was actually quite impressed with the quality of the Rough Country kit. They've really upped their game since they, uh, since I was in high school. I remember back in high school, Rough Country wasn't really the best brand to go with. It was really stiff ride, cheap parts. And they definitely turned it around for themselves. I'm really happy with the way the Vertex kit came out. It performed very well. I took it for a test driver, hit a couple curves, and can't even feel them. A lot of people, when they lift these Tacomas, they uh, end up putting blocks under here, so they'll just space the axle out from underneath the leaf spring here. And uh, we're adding leaf lift on this one. We're not going to do a block lift, and that's how all lifts really should be done. Ended up having a seized nut on top of that shock that we ended up having to cut off. A lot of those shocks just don't want to come off on these Toyotas. Pretty normal thing. This leaf here, they're really thick. Each leaf is really stiff. It won't actually give you as much flex as a leaf style where they're thin. It's same thickness, but there's more leaves and they're thinner, so you can get more articulation. You won't get axle wrap if you don't have any blocks underneath here either. You're just gonna get much better control of everything. great example of why I really like these Vertex Rough Country kits because you can just see the fitments is perfect there. They don't really give you, Toyota doesn't give you much room between that frame and then the bed, but their kit slides perfectly in there and all the bolt holes lined up great. Nothing, nothing really fought me too bad other than the no clearance. There's that low clearance. She is all done, looking great. Couldn't have been happier with the way everything fit and came out. The alignment was perfect and everything looked great on it.